Hi, I'm Rebecca. In this video, I will show you how to build a dog grooming website using Smogmog. Smogmog is free to try for 14 days and I do have a discount off any new Smogmog account in the description below in the video. Now to get started, we need to upload our photos into a Smogmog gallery. So if we click upload, we want to go into new gallery and we need to give the gallery a title. So if we go for dog grooming photos, these galleries are designed for photographers and there's only one other setting you need to worry about and that is a shopping cart. So if you click shopping, switch the shopping cart off. I do have a full video on all the settings on a smog mug gallery and how to upload your photos for photographers. But for this video, that's all you need to think about. If you click create, browse your computer. Okay, get your dog grooming photos and upload them to a smog mug gallery. They don't take long to upload. There we go. That's the photos uploaded. To add more photos to your gallery, if you go to organize, here is your gallery. All right, you can either click the green button, upload again, and go into an existing gallery and choose your gallery or if you just click on the gallery and upload, you'll upload again directly into that gallery. This area where the photos are is like the back of the website, so nobody can see this. Now to go to the front of the website, which will be seen online, if you click site, here is your website. And what we're going to do is just choose a template, which is free to use. So we'll go up to the three dots in a vertical line in the top right corner, if we click the dots and choose new site design. Now here are all the free templates which are available with Smogmog. And what I'm going to use is Jasper. So we'll preview the design. We'll click choose this design and we're going to customize. Now we can edit the template. So if we go up to the tool icon, this will bring up the settings box for the carousel, which is where the photos are. If your settings is set to recent photos, to be able to choose your own photos, if you click photos, choose, click choose photos, this will take you back through to where the photos are, which you've just uploaded. And then you can click on the photos, which you would like to appear in the carousel. So the order which you choose these photos is the order what they will appear. And also within this content block, you can have 48 photos in total. So just click the photos which you would like. What have I got there? 10 and click done. There we go. That's changed the photos to the ones which I would like. Down the side, we have the Smugmug customized panel. It's a website builder and you can add extra content blocks to your template. So if you're wanting to add more photos or some text and a title, you can add those in. What I want to add in is a button. So if we drag the button, you see where the arrows are and, and there's a green line and just drop the button. The button appears in the, at the left. And if we can change the writing, if we put contact, you can have it small or large, default or accent color. Accent color is green on this theme. I'll show you how to change that. I'm going to put the button in the middle and then link to what we want is a contact form because you do not need to make your contact form on these websites. I'll show you where the settings are. There we go, we've already got a dog grooming website started. Simple dog grooming photos on the front. Ideally put your best photos or the kind of dogs which you would like to draw in to your dog grooming. And a contact button. I've got a contact form already made there. So if we go back, all you need to do for your contact information is the photo in the top right corner, click on the photo and you want edit my profile. 
You just want to check that you've got a contact email in there. So when visitors to your website email, that is where the emails will go to. And the photo on the contact form is here. If you just click the square or the photo to change the photo, it will take you back through to your photos and you can choose which photo you would like. You can also add any social links like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, any other social links you have, you can put them into there and then click save. You can change the title, anything which is red, if you click the tool icon, it's going to affect the entire site. So when you add more pages, whatever is within the red boxes will be on every single page of the website. So I can change that to canine dog grooming. Click done. Now we've started a website. So if we publish that now, there we go. To build a page for the website, if you go back to organize, and in this top left corner, you want create. If you're on a laptop, you'll just have a plus symbol. So click create. And here you want a web page. And there's 10 different types of page types and layouts. You've got three about me pages. The custom page is a blank page, portfolio or photo galleries. And then you have pricing, which is great for your dog grooming services. So if, on the about me, just choose a design, click next, give your page a title, about me, click create. If you click the tool icon on the photo, you can click the square and choose your photo. There's mine, click done, click done. You just click the box and you can change your writing all about you or all about your dog grooming. And to add more content blocks again, if you make sure the content plus is highlighted, so we could add a single photo. So just drag and drop again, use the arrows and the green line. If I add another photo, it'll take us back. Let me choose another photo. There we go. So we've got an About Me page started. If we click Done, Publish Now. To go back to edit the page, if you click Customize Design, and that will take you back and you can add more writing, more text, you can add videos, you can add what you like. So if we click done. To create another page, just go back to organize and create web page again. And this time you could do use the pricing page type. And if you use list services, create. You can use this page to list all your dog grooming services. And all you're going to do again, click the tool icon, choose your photo and the same again with the writing and just put your service, dog grooming service and the information about that service within the box. Create a photo gallery for the website. If you go to portfolio and use photo collage again, click the tool icon and choose the photos you would like to appear in your photo gallery. You can change the layout and the photo size of the photos too in that gallery. To add the pages into the navigation menu, if you click customize design again and the navigation menu is red so it's going to be on every single page of the website. If you click the tool icon you have different layout styles for the menu in the basic section. And then if you click links, this is where you can add in the pages, which are your links to the pages. Now you won't need the browse and the search. Home will take you back to the main page of the website. And if you click the plus button, you can add your pages in. You can give your page a title. This title will appear in the navigation menu at the top. So if we have about for the about page and link to, we'll choose the page which we've created. So if we click choose page, 
It'll take us back to where our photo gallery is, but it is also where the pages we've created are. So that's the About Me page. Click Done. And if you go back to the links, there's the About page. You can also add in the contact form. So if we write in Contact, Link To, we've got the contact form. So if we click contact form, go back to the links. And if we look at the navigation menu, we've got home, about and contact. I'll add the other two pages in, the services and the photo gallery. So that's all the pages into the navigation menu. And to rearrange the order, because ideally the contact should be at the bottom, you just drag the contact link to the bottom of the menu and that's rearranged the order which they appear in the navigation menu and you can click done done and publish now so if we click home about services photo gallery and contact and to change the color of the button on the website if we go back to customize design and this time in the customize panel we want theme and what we'll do we'll click on the wrench icon and it's the accent color that's going to affect the button so what we'll do you can choose any color you like a pink red whatever color you like just click on okay that will work click done Click done. Now once you change your theme, you need to give it a name. So in the basic, I'll call that red. Done. Now the button, click the tool icon. The color at the moment is default. If we change the color to accent, it will change the button color to the red we've just chose. Click done, done publish now. The website also looks great on a mobile phone. I do have a free guide how to make a dog grooming website using SmugMug which gives you more information, helpful information for making the website and I do have tutorials on SmugMug. I'll put all the links in the description below in the video that is on my dog photography website the SmugMug tutorials. You can try SmugMug free for 14 days and have a discount off any new SmugMug account. Thanks for watching.